There are people out there teaching that you can be a carnal Christian. To answer this question, we must first define what this word carnal means. The word carnal is translated from the Greek word sarkikos, which literally means fleshly. I take this to mean that a carnal Christian is a fleshly Christian. The better question is, is there such thing as a fleshly Christian? This makes me think of the church at Corinth. If we look at 1 Corinthians 3, we see Paul addressing the readers as brethren, a term he used almost exclusively to refer to other Christians. He then goes on to describe them as carnal. Therefore, we can conclude that Christians can be carnal. 1 John 1 8 is absolutely clear that no one is sinless. The truth is, every time we sin, we are acting carnally. We are giving in to our fleshly desires and not yielding to the Spirit of God. What we need to understand is that while a Christian can be, for a time, carnal, a true Christian will not remain carnal for a lifetime. Romans 8 is very clear about this. It says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. The reality is this. The individuals that stay in a carnal, fleshly state are spiritually dead. There's no way that a person can be indwelt with the Holy Spirit and continue to live a fleshly lifestyle. The Spirit and the flesh don't mix. Only one can truly exist. When we come into salvation, the Spirit takes up residence in us and the process of sanctification begins. It is called maturing in Christ. God's desire in saving us is that we would progressively grow closer to the image of Jesus, becoming increasingly spiritual and decreasingly carnal. We go from brand new babes to toddlers, to adolescents, to young men, to fathers. The flesh dies daily and what replaces it is holy living. So to teach that you can be a carnal Christian and just leave it there is not biblical and it's dangerous. Is it true that we'll have sinful moments? Absolutely. But if you're a genuine believer in Christ, these sinful moments, these outbreaks of carnality will be the exception, not the rule. The last thing any of us need to hear is that we can be Christians who live in the flesh. That is irresponsible and there is no biblical evidence of this being true. Guys, drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts.